Um, this is probably the first year. This is the first year since we started doing this. Um, I've started doing this as a coach that we're done recruiting on, on signing day. It's kind of a neat deal to, to be doing all the things at Division One schools all the way down to Division Two. So um, to be done in February and not have to recruit to, to July and then into August right before camp is going to be a luxury for, for not only um, uh, those recruits but for the staff. We're going to be able to, to develop. Uh, is the Southern Oregon is kind of unique because it's a great place to live. I mean, obviously with the mountain backdrop and the lakes and the rivers, there's a lot of things to do. But I think also uh, create an excitement because what we did last year and where our kids are coming into the program, we need players to win national championships. And I think most of the kids that we're recruiting buying into that, um, it's evident by the size of our signing class and the type of guys we got this year. What's it like going Coach Howard? You get a recruit. You get a young man and his family in with Coach Howard, whether it's a home visit or here on a on a weekend, and they sit down with him, and, and he is the most welcoming coach I've ever um, worked with, seen, heard from. Um, he's got uh, the it factor where families know that when they send their son here that he's going to be taken care of. And to have, uh, I think, you know, as a staff, we've done a good job of um, backing that point. I got Hayward Dennison and Melvin Mason. There we go. Let's see you right there. All right. Congratulations, man. Good job, man. All right. Southern Oregon football is getting better. Getting better. Good job, Foz. Paul Marazzi just committed, too. The D tackle. Awesome. All right. He committed. We got all those Oregon City guys coming, huh? And how was the coach, too? Who's that? Dave Garrington. Yeah. You know we beat Stanford out. We beat Stanford. The literally. S beat the S. We literally beat Stanford. The S beat the S in that program. David Garland had called me last night. He was choosing between us and Stanford. He's, got, he's only had one B in his life, hasn't he? Uh, Coach told him? And drawing. Yeah, and drawing as a freshman. <laughs> David Garlington, again, out of Skyview High School. Golly, that's awesome. Absolutely. Well, hey, our head coach is sitting right here and wants to talk at you for a, a couple minutes. So here's Coach Howard. Congratulations, Austin. We're delighted that you're going to become a Raider. I think it's going to be really special, and you're a special guy. All right, next letter of intent from Inglewood, California, Jay Lynn Hart. Hey, 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 hey. Come on board. Good job. Come on board. Inglewood, California, on the board. It's, you know, when I have linebackers sit down in here, Coach Fisk has them in his office. These recruits feel like when they come here, you know, we, we might not have the facil facilities and, and some of the things that some of the bigger schools have, but what we do have is is a staff that's going to care about them. And it's not just a, a line. It's not a punch line. It's not a sales job. It's a, it's something that, that means a lot to those families. And Jackson, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a call this evening. And ten are starting to roll in as fast as we can get them. Well, I tell you, the, the fax machine is smoking. Jacob Menendhall from Centennial High School from uh, the Boise area committed. He's a real good kid on the phone, and he was he's really uh, excited to be coming here. Yeah. Foss, we've got three great running backs, maybe four. I mean, we've got guys coming from in-state, out-of-state. Melvin Mason, uh, Hayward Demison, and Mark Jenkins, and, and Sonny Tapua with a 4,000-yard rusher. What do you think about a running back situation? we got to be in a situation where the rest of the state's going to how they do it. Those guys are all D1 guys we're getting. I mean, it's, it's going to be amazing what we can do with these kind of athletes on the field, and I can't wait to see those guys get into camp. And when kids say yes to you and they, and they know that's our main selling point, we know that they have high character and that their um, materialism of things, they don't like material things. We've got nice jerseys now and, and, and that going for us, but we don't have, you know, the big beautiful locker room yet. It's coming. And, and to, to get these kids because they want to be cared for, that's the kind of guys you want. So. I want to move your prospective or perspective? There are a lot of prospective athletes in this signing class. Perspective or perspective? We should have immediate impact players this year. 
um, out of this freshman class, that guys out of this class can step on the field and play right away, and that's always exciting. It gives you immediate, uh, immediate feedback on how hard you worked. It's an awesome day, you know, it's just National Sign of the Day and just can't wait to bring in Hayward Demerson from Central Catholic. It's going to be an awesome experience to work with him. Mark Jenkins out of the Pleasant Grove. It's going to be a great deal. For us, again, we got a guy you recruited and went up there to Sunset High School in Beaverton, Oregon, Reggie Coulter. We got him, got his letter of intent right here, boss. Well, Metro guy from the Portland area, another steal for us. He's an athlete. We play in multiple positions, DV, running back, slot. He's going to be a great fit. You know, he played both ways for Sunset. It was all Metro at running back and, and defensive back. Great punt returner, too, yes. Coach Jim. Exciting. Exciting to get a guy that can take the ball to the house. In the running we haven't got Bryce Alderman's uh, letter of intent yet from Sisters, Oregon, have we, guys? Bryce, no, we, we have. Uh, we have the first team all week. Uh, again, we need to get him. Well, I tell you what, a lot of these guys have great, great point averages, too. I mean, we're talking about guys with 3.5 and above. So I've got one player here, 4.25 GPA. They see what's going on here. It's something special. Uh, Linebacker-wise, I mean, linebacker-wise, we've signed seven linebackers, and we needed it bad. I mean, we're, we're running low on depth. That's that's pretty special defensively. The, the speed up front that we've we signed uh, at the defensive end position is, is pretty special. It's it's going to be a class. I think you know, last year we had one guy, two guys, ex excuse me, really contribute. I think this could be a class that three, four, five, six guys can can step in in August and, and contribute to our success right away. The things that we do today help win the football games in the fall and in future falls to come. This signing class represents some hard work by a tremendous coaching staff and everybody here that contributed to signing these players. It's just not a football coach, it's a staff, it's an athletic director, it's a sports information director, it's our trainer, it's our, our support people. All the people are going to put in a football program. The impressive thing about what's going to happen from this point forward, these guys have done a fantastic job finding great young men to be a part of our program. Coach and his staff are going to keep them here. They're going to get them all the support they need, and they're going to get their degrees. We, we have never done anything like this. We have never had a signing class of 33 on, on the first Wednesday of February. So it's, it's, it's a tribute to our staff. It's, it's a